Ananias here, and welcome back, everybody. Uh, this is part five of the series, I think. Uh, let's see. Let's go to make sure I moved everybody. Uh, he's still sitting in that city. Don't want him going anywhere. Do, 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 do. Okay, that's it. Go ahead and go to end. And let's see what kind of attacking they're going to do. Um, of course, we know they're going to try and take that city. That's Yeah, that one. Um, not only are they going to try, they will succeed. Like... <laughs> <laughs> but it prevented them, as I said before, it prevented them from, from getting any uh, resources from it this turn. Definitely worth it. Wow, I, it, I couldn't get a, a shot out. Oh, awesome. Okay, very cool. So we both died. I retain power to the city. The city is going to stay at full health. So the little nucleus. So they'll have to take it just like it was any other of, of my cities. Um, so that's really cool. Um, they will still take it, but it just might take them a, a grunt or two to do it. That was actually about the best thing I could have asked for, to be honest. Uh, unless I could have maybe managed to have taken out one of the grunts, but, you know, it, again, I pressed the button, but it didn't It didn't want to fire. Come on, guys. Oh, this sucks. Oh, I thought he started at full health, but I guess I guess it didn't. Huh, okay. Well, I'll just that was a chalk that up to a misremembering on my part. Okay. So, doo -doo -doo -doo. okay. So I guess it couldn't even get to that other city that I took there with that scout last turn. So that's good. I wasn't sure if it'd be able to or not. Now, one thing about it is there's no um as far as the, the combat, I've mentioned before that the computer will do all its combat first and then all of its, all of its movement that's non-combat oriented and then all its purchasing. But there's it doesn't split up any type of, um, of combat. So it's not like it attacks all cities first and then all non-cities um, or, or anything like that. It's, uh, it's just whatever attacks it's going to do, it, it just does. At, at least, I'm again, memory may be a little fuzzy on that, but I'm pretty sure that that it uh, it may mix them up <clears throat> as far as you know what it's what it's attacking I don't think there's any rhyme or reason to it I like the blenders pretty good they they're they've got a pretty good amount of power um, I, re I wish the range was a little more scout like but it's not gosh sorry my allergies are absolutely killing me still by still, I mean from the from the previous video, they were killing me then, killing me now. <laughs> okay. Whoop. See that whenever it fires like that, it's it's not the game's fault or anything else. It's it's my timing is off because there there's really there is a lot of practice to it as far as when you push the button versus when you turn your mech. Um, and all the mechs with them having different um, delay speeds, it, it it just well, just like anything else, takes some practice. Okay, you guys are good to see a, a burn dog, and we're fighting in the in the bushes. So this is going to be interesting. Now these burn dogs have pretty good power, but gosh, their shot is so delayed. Ah, I got caught on. Uh -huh. Oh crap! I got stuck too. <laughs> okay, so and I've only got eight health left with this guy, so he's he's not long for this world. But you can see why I buy so many scouts. It's like it's so easy to get them anywhere on the map just because of their, their movement. They've got tons of ammunition. They're pretty weak, especially their armor. Their armor is is very weak, um, but they're they're so easy to fight with. Okay. So this should be interesting. 48, how much am I taking off? I'm taking off 12 per hit, at least from the front, or <clears throat> to the front whenever I hit him. There we go. That went really well. Um, and you always want to keep up with, uh, with your ammo up there. I've only got nine shots left with, with the blender, um, who has done really, really well. Uh, he's, he's killed quite a few things at this point. 
So I'd like to kind of sit him in a city just because he is he's not a scout and at this point he's he's pretty far into enemy lines. I'd like to take that factory soon as well. And this is that round where they're really kind of throwing everything they have at at me. Um, I'm just kind of kicking their butt. So. There we go. Getting better. Getting better at this. Oh, don't lock up on me. Okay, God. Because <laughs> I, I don't think I've saved this at all. Um, I need to do that. Well, and, and I'm, I'm not usually not that kind of person. I'm usually a, a save almost every round kind of guy, but I just hadn't really thought about doing that. So, definitely I'm going to do that right here at the very beginning of my turn. And see, this time they've only got $1,280 to play with. That's that's huge. That's, that's huge. And they're sending a whole lot north there. They're going to, I guess, go, go around the... They're going to kind of try to go around up there. Interesting. And I mentioned that in the last video about the, the strategy... Um, and it does change for them too as the as the uh, as the game progresses. I don't think I explained that as well as as I intended. But uh, on some of the larger boards, it's really pretty easy to tell kind of that, that the that the enemy is that they're kind of changing tactics at times. So they're basically looks like going to try and send this force this way um, to kind of try and kind of change it up. And that's definitely not what they were doing before at all. Um, now, one negative, I guess you could say, to this kind of game is that, you know, it's more like a board game in that you can see all of your opponent's pieces. You can tell what they're doing and those kinds of things. In some of the, the games that that followed this, um, you know, you might not be able to see these pieces unless you had had pieces up there before, uh, kind of in that area. And I don't know what kind of, what, what necessarily, like, what those kind of games are called. Um, but this was definitely a... a predecessor to those um, but yeah I mean so like you can't see the map you, the only parts of the map you can see are parts that you've had um, um, your pieces in uh, if you see what I mean I hope I'm explaining that okay all right so let's go ahead and try and take this city uh, but here you know like I said it's more of a, an open world it's like playing risk or something you can see what everyone everyone is doing that would have been cool if there were, had been more than two armies. Whoop. Okay, so this one's actually down and to the right. Oh, there it is. Wow. Two, three. One, two, three. One, two. Oh, he's my secondary guy. You almost never run out of secondary secondary ammunition. Especially on a scout, it, it's gonna die first. Um, so I try to save save those primary shots if I can on, on something like that where it's you know I I know I'm not gonna get hit. Okay. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Gosh, I've got so many mechs now. Um, any more attacking that I want to do? Do I want to try and take? Okay, what is his health? Ten. Okay, I could probably take that. Um, so I'd like to try to get into that city with the furthest back. Now, I, he is sending a pretty good sized force uh, up north. I could pull him off, but he's not at full health. Um, but I think that might make the most sense. Definitely want to bring him up to here so he can move completely the next turn. I could bring him off. Okay, so what I think I'm going to do, because they're not going to get to this city this next turn. I'm going to bring him up toward this city. So he's not going to get any regain on health this turn, but he will next turn whenever I can get him up there. And that way I can pull this guy off. And I'm just kind of going to kind of create a, a defense down here. Um, again, they, they can't really move through this stuff easily. Or really even this um, easily at all. Um, but if they do try, then I, I can... My scouts will be close enough to where I can funnel them up here if they're if they're trying to do something like that. Um, so I might, wait, he only has 29 health. 
crap. Okay, so maybe at the beginning, I'm going to leave him here, and at the beginning of his next turn, maybe I send him up that way, put him there, and send this guy up up through this pass as well. Okay, do something like that. I'm going to stick him in the city, and I think I may leave these guys basically about where they are. Um, I don't know, something maybe like that. Does it tell me? No, it doesn't tell me the movement. So, see, I don't know exactly how far that can, that burn dog can go. Um, but I think I'll be okay. Now, wait a minute. He can take, he can reach that city. I don't want to do anything. He can't. So, I've only got two mechs that can get to that city. And he's almost dead. So, I definitely don't want to, don't want to bring him up. Okay, so, alright, let's, let's try it. Now, he can get to the factory. Um... And I could kind of sacrifice him, so, you know, I might... Gosh, that's tough. That's really tough. Um, I just flat out don't... Oh, you know what? A perfect example here. It might be that if this grunt wasn't here, I could get to the factory with this bile. So I'm going to try that. Just, again, just for the heck of it. Um, I'm going to take this scout right to here. And take, see if I, oh gosh, the scout's almost dead too. Well, you know what, I'm going to try it. Hopefully you guys will be able to see what I'm, what I was talking about, or what I've talked about before. Hopefully this, that bile, hopefully I can, I can beat this guy. And the bile can, uh, will be able to punch through the, that line. Okay, good. I like the little cloud it put under the, under the mech's feet. Like when they're moving, kind of standing there. That's a nice little touch. Okay. Crap, I forgot to say. Okay, you know what? I'm saving it right this second. Save, save. Okay. Now let's see if the bile... Yep, see the bile can now get to it. And it couldn't because there was an enemy here, 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 and here. So literally the bile's movement was having to was taken either through the forest, which will slow it down, or all the way around here, which it couldn't couldn't possibly make it. Okay, so I'm gonna do that in just a second. I'm gonna try and take this city that's got this grunt's got ten health. So we'll see how this goes. So not only do I have to kill the grunt, but I've got to stay alive. After he's dead. Okay. Okay, there we go. Alright, good deal. Alright, let's see here. Okay, so we took that city. Now let's try and take that factory. There we go. My button wasn't, wasn't wanting to work again. It's kind of aggravating. And I think it is it has to do with my slider. Since it's so... It just seems kind of random as to when the button works and doesn't, but it's always right after I use the, the uh, turbo slider. Okay, now I don't. I remember the factories looking completely different. Like it, you like it looks like you're in a, a like a town or something. Yeah. And these are tough because the the nucleus. See, so you can't really. It's hard to tell where you can go. Where you can't. Crap, it's the other side. I knew he shot out of one side. See, one hit and he kills a turret. But you can't tell like what can what you can catch on very easily. He's still down. There it is. Okay. Nope, this was good. He takes off like 22 per hit. Boom. But I only have 11 more bullets with this guy. So it's good that he's sitting on a factory. One of the differences between a factory and a city, and I, I think I mentioned this in the very first video maybe, is that the cities will only replenish some of your health and ammunition. A factory will, will replenish all of it. Um, so provided he can hang on to it this next turn, which they will throw everything that can reach him pretty much because it's a factory, I, I think. Uh, so even if like these guys could reach him, they will probably they would probably uh, they would probably send him send him at at the bile. Uh, but provided as long as he can stay alive through this turn uh, through the enemy's next 
rather the enemy's upcoming turn, then he will he will come back to full uh, full ammunition, full health. So, all right, let's go ahead and pull some of this other stuff forward. down to two cities, no factories. What exactly are his cities? Okay, so there's that's all he's got left. This guy forward. I don't really need to worry about this city anymore. I almost want to pull the... Well, no, he, he can't get back there. I'm just going to leave him there. Well, I'll go ahead and pull him out. He's basically a full. He's, he's health. He's only one off. I don't pull him back to here. like for this guy to end up on a city, but he's only got nine shots, so well, whatever happens, happens. Okay. Alright, this guy's full up now, so he's and he can scoot through this uh, this snow stuff pretty easy. I was hoping to actually be able to use the boxer so you guys could see it, but I don't know if that's going to end up happening or not. And again, it's just a testament to, to how how good the scouts are. Okay. That's, I'm going to bring these guys up because of that force that they've got coming, which is actually probably the brunt of the mechs they have left. They've got 13 units out there. And I'd say between a third and half of them are up there along that, that top ridge. I have 31 mechs, so I can only, literally, I think I can only buy one mech this next turn, so it's going to be a bile, and I'll probably create him on that transport, so I can try to get him up to the front line quickly. Uh, but you may or may not get to see the that transport in action, <laughs> the one I just created, um, just because of uh, you know how much has happened this turn, and last turn, really. Just trying to get them up there. Um, let's see how, how far this thing can move. Eh, pretty good. But again, it's going to be a... It's going to take a while. Wait a second. Hang on. He doesn't have anything. Does he have anything on him? Did I put... I think I did put a scout there. And... I've got $3,620. Okay, so I've got enough to buy a bile. So what I'm going to do here... Is I'm just going to go ahead and unload the scout prior to moving the the transport, and I'm going to go ahead and make my purchase of a bile, put it in the transport, and now I'm going to move the transport. So there's a lot of ways to play around with that, um, and you can, for example, if that bile hadn't moved yet. Then and there was another transport kind of sort of nearby in the direction that I was wanting to go, then you can piggyback off of them. And I could send the bile out of here into that next transport and then move the transport if it hadn't moved. Um, so th those things are really, really useful. I'll just move him back here because he's empty. I have 500 bucks. I can buy another scout. No, I can't. I've got 32 units. So that's literally I've done all I can do. Let's make sure I've moved everybody I want to. Um, that was at 29 health. Which one is that? Is that okay? That's that one. That's fine. Uh, there's a couple other scouts here. I think these are going to be yeah, they're going to be the ones up here. And I, I really don't. There's not really any reason to move them. Um, I guess I could kind of move them forward a little bit. Um, I kind of rather I guess pull them down, pull these guys down if I can. But I don't know if bringing my scouts out here would do that because um, I, obviously I think their target is is the city but you know that's that's probably going to change after this this round because I've killed so much of their stuff uh, and taken that factory which I think the taking the factory I think if anything pulls them down that's what it's going to be um, so let's make sure that's that one and that is it okay cool deal so I'm going to go ahead and save it. All right, and we're getting real close to the end of this board, so um, hang tight. Again, I hope you're enjoying this. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe, and take care. See you next time.